What is going on guys? Today, I wanna talk about an issue that we all have close to our hearts. And I wanna share with you guys the truth about SLP. Now, if you were in the Axie Infinity Discord, and if you've been in the community, you know Axie Infinity's SLP has been going down a cliff. I mean, let's look at this title here. Let's look at this beautiful chart. And what's the first thing that we see when we see this? Look at this, under two cents SLP to USD. Did you ever think we would see something so hideous? In the past 30 days, SLP has dropped 57% and we're entering territories where SLP isn't even gonna be up year over year. Now, with SLP in an absolute free fall, the first question you should always ask yourself is you should go and you should check out the crypto market. And you can see the crypto market itself is in a free fall, which is actually exponentially at um attacking the fact that you know axis is in a free fall but if you look at the last month chart even though ethereum lost 25 percent of its value in the last month which is insane guys let's let's not get that twisted that's insane amount of loss um slp's lost 50 percent. so now you got to ask yourself okay you have a coin you have a cryptocurrency that's failing at this point right it, there's nothing telling me with especially with a chart like this like if I'm a trader, I'm selling this. Like I am <clears throat> putting sells and I'm making profit to the downside. That's how I'm making all my money. So Sky Megavis is in a really tough position because now they got to ask themselves, how do they save SLP? And recently, if you looked in their Discord, you can look at the Axiom Infinity Discord. It's actually in our Discord, so our Discord is in the link below. In this Axiom announcement sections, you can see that Axie Infinity posted something very interestingly. They said one of the most common topics of conversation within Axie Infinity ecosystem is about SLP. And we've been amazed with the level of thought. We put together a blog to share some of our thoughts on the Axie economy and some short term solutions. So when you end up clicking on the link, it takes you to this beautiful place here. And they really go over how the SLP burned and mint. Look at all the SLP being minted and nothing's happening being burned. So realistically, they know what the what the fix is. They need to burn SLP, but now they're in a situation where they're like, how do we do it? So they've actually asked us and they put up interesting thing called a hashtag Axie Econ Balance. And they said, hey, everyone share your answers, share how you would fix it. And I've done something similar on Reddit. By the way, guys, we're rocking out here with Jamie. We got good luck Darren in the building. And of course, Ruben, guys. And we're giving away three scholarships today. This is what we do on the channel regularly. So make sure you keep subscribing and liking to see more of those videos where we give away scholarships. So if we go on Reddit, this is a post that I've done here talking about if I was Sky Mavis, what would I do to actually save SOP and get it to a good spot? So I got a lot of suggestions. 12 suggestions and I'm be honest a lot of you probably haven't seen someone put these suggestions here so there might be something that's you know catch you by surprise so the first suggestion I would say is have an SLP lottery system so this is how it would work you stake a thousand SLP for a month and you have a chance to win a huge AXS payout let's say like 50 AXS for staking a thousand SLP question here would you do it at the end of the month, you would receive 500 of your SLP back. Sky Mavis would burn 300 SLP, and then they'd convert 20% of it to AXS to go to the lottery. Additional lottery payments would also come out of the treasury. So what does this accomplish? So right here, essentially, you're only getting 500 your SLP back, right? And what that 500 SLP does is, the 500 that you don't get back is 300 of it's burned, right and 20 percent of it's converted to axs so the converting to ass puts some downward pressure on slp's price but three hundred of it being burned puts such an upward pressure that now all of a sudden there's less slp in circulation and you have a, a chance to win axs the question is would you do it i think a lot of people would round zero of an axie fight for number two round zero of an axie fight each opponent will see each other six axes in round one you would see three axes that the opponent picked Round zero, you could use cosmetics bought with SLP to hide your body parts. And this adds like an additional chess match that you could use to fake your opponent out. So in Pokemon, as you know, when you go to you know a trainer, 
a lot of times you can only pick like three Pokemon or two Pokemon or four Pokemon. And in Pokemon Stadium games, similar thing. You have like six Pokemon and you only pick three or four when you're playing against someone. So there's kind of like a round zero where you're picking out your Pokemon that you want to use. And if your opponent, right, if they have their six axes or whatever, right, you want to pick out your axes that best are able to beat them, right? So you're going to do that based on what body parts they have. But what if you didn't know what the body parts they have? What if they had like a hat or something like that on their head or they had a weird tail that wasn't an axie body part? I think having like, this is a cool way to introduce cosmetics in round zero. And the cosmetics, they'd have a bunch of free ones, but then you could introduce like paid cosmetics where if someone wanted to cover their tail with, I don't know, like a, a bunny rabbit tail, or they wanted to cover it with like a Goku Dragon Ball Z tail, they could do that as a cosmetic. And I think that would be something that's a cool way to enter cosmetics. You'd have your paid ones and then you'd have your free ones. Um, the next idea that we have is number three. I call it the all Axie lives matter. Guys, the biggest problem with Axie Infinity is right now, theoretically, the floor price for a lot of Axies should be zero. I mean, if you can't think about all of the shrimp and backdoor little owl axes that have the double back doors on them, those axes aren't good in arena or adventure mode. So why are they in the game? Like they're just so useless. Um, so if you have an ax like that, why not allow it to be in the background? It can be in the background. It could be a coach, a cheerleader. Like there can be axes that you can bring to a game that aren't the ones that fight that way. You know, you can integrate a lot of your axes in different ways. The more ways, use cases you have for axes, the better. We'll do two more. So actually we'll do three more. So number four is have five to six breeding events a year, guys. Every holiday should have a breeding event. I have no idea why, like us as OG alpha members, we have really nothing to show for. We have no cool axes. We have no cool breeds, guys. The more breeding events you have, you can have unique body parts that can be bred and all of a sudden you're booming the axe economy. Number five is around how to get people to breed more. Guys, most people aren't gonna breed five times. SLP cost is too much. So what they should do, what they should do is if you wanna breed five times, on that fifth time you breed, not only do you create a new axe, but your, one of your original axes, you should have the chance to what I call hibernate them where they stay in their egg for like a week. And you can basically fix two body parts, but the other four body parts, that's including the eyes and ears, they can change up depending on the axe that you breed them with. That way, people have extra incentive to breed their axes at five. All of a sudden, axes with three or four breeds have additional value. And because of that, I think that will keep the floor price a bit higher than it is. All of a sudden, all of those double little owl shrimp axes that are basically useless, um, I think they'll actually have way more value because people will want to use them. Number six, again, floor axes are useless. Um, I think you should be able to use an axie to breed with it. You could, should be able to burn an axie, use it as SLP to breed another axie. Essentially, as soon as someone has five breeds, you can breed it with either, you know, just using all SLP or use half SLP, half Axie. Guys, again, this ensures a guaranteed minimum floor for Axies. Right now, the minimum floor of a double shrimp or a backdoor bird with spike throw, the minimum floor of that is zero. It's just not useful. It's terrible. Um, we got Gia in the building, so sorry I'm late. Gia, what is going on? It is always great to see you. And guys, what is the truth about SLP? The truth about SLP right now is um, it's going to zero. Let's be real. It's going to zero unless Sky Mavis implements some burning mechanisms. And I think we all got to give Crypto King his credit. Crypto King was talking about this stuff in August and the whole community was doodling on him. But realistically, SLP in August was going down while the whole crypto market was going up. As soon as you saw something like that happen, you knew it was completely broken. And right now, they were kept on pushing on about V3, kept on pushing on about land. But at the same time, 
Land is gonna come out probably 2023, guys. It's probably not gonna come out in 2022. And if we have no burning mechanisms to then, we've understood that a scholarship system is the only system that's you know going to be viable for a lot of people. A lot of people are gonna either have a scholarship or they're gonna be scholars themselves. So in that system, it inflates SLP because there's so much people that aren't going to breathe. They just want the SLP to use and take out this ecosystem for the real life. So I'm glad we're at a place where the whole community is actually finally talking about SLP. You know, I was very frustrated with a place like uh, Axie Chat, where um, there was people with legitimate concerns. Like imagine all the scholarships who had double aquas, like a hundred double aquas, right? And then the balance change happens and all of a sudden their double aqua teams are all 80% less <laughs> in value <laughs> after one balance change. Like, and then, you know, uh, people like Ashley Chat are like, hey, you gotta keep a long-term vision. And I think that's just very not the approach to take when someone loses 80% of their investment and probably not gonna return to the same value. So I think now it's great that people are, you know, seeing like, hey, this SLP thing is a real value. Hey, there's a lot of people, you know, if things don't change, I expect in three months, there's gonna be like a massive churn that happens in Axie Infinity. So because of that, um, I think they need to do better. Herm says, lots of scholars are leaving their managers because of SLP price. Yeah, 100%, like SLP, the main reason why we have scholars still is because most people believe that SLP is going to shoot back up eventually, which of course, you know, it doesn't take many burn mechanisms for SLP to shoot back up. In the past, Axie Infinity has actually done the opposite of the crypto um, market, right? And because of that, if you have a bad team and SLP is going down, like you're probably like, I don't even like this game, I'm out, right? Um, so a lot of people who are still staying have the long-term vision, but hey man, SLP keeps going down like this, especially if the crypto market goes back up and SLP doesn't go back up, a lot of managers are actually leaving. I saw even Bryce, you know, <laughs> start to talk about it today. Bryce is talking about it more. And Bryce is actually, um, if I go to my Twitter, what organizations are doing is they're actually buying uh, in other games. Like there's creating scholarship opportunities in other games. Like I think it's called Venatura. I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, where is it? Legends of Venatura. So I can't find it, but a lot of Axie, Axie like content creators or Axie guilds, they're trying to like, you know, diversify their funds by going into other games. And realistically, if you're a guild in three, four, five games and Axie's not doing what you think it will do, what's gonna happen? You're gonna put more of your resources in the other game than Axie and then Axie slowly, even though it's number one and it's so far ahead right now, I think you're in an area where a lot of your people can get poached. And again, you need short-term SLP solutions in the short term so that you can bring your long-term um, things into intuition because right now you're building infrastructure that only works when you have a lot of people but if a lot of people churn you're not getting that income you are from you know having a lot of people all of a sudden you have a lot of fixed expense but you don't have the revenue generating from your customers in the midterm Herm says and I just bought my own team last week AAP is affordable now but a bit hesitant to buy again because still no burning mechanisms yeah man so right now like teams are so affordable that like scholars can probably buy their own team and what i realized especially coming from last season is i'm like the whole point of the scholarship was to eventually buy our whole team however i do see with all of the risk in the game <laughs> people are very hesitant to completely leave scholarships because scholarships of course let you get the meta teams whenever the new season starts and I think that's like kind of the balancing act that everyone's doing right now. It's like the scholarships, like I'll, I'll be real with you. Like, I don't think, like I did the math, especially now with the floor prices. Like, I don't think I've made my money. I'm probably down money to be honest because of the way SLP and Axies. And I've started when SLP price was around 20 cents. <laughs> you know, that's when I started the game. So now that it's at like, sorry, 20 cents Canadian. So now that's at like 2.3 cents Canadian like you're you're not making your money back at that point so realistically right now i'm in it because i do have a long-term vision i do see myself in axie for the next 
five years. But guys, let me know what you think. Does Axie have a chance to be here in the next five years? I still think it does, and I still bullish. The main reason I'm bullish is, do you remember the last breeding event that happened? It wasn't even necessarily a real breeding event, right? Real breeding events, there's way greater chances to get something a reward. A breeding event where only one person gets land, I mean, <laughs> it's it's not, you have basically no chance of winning. Um, anyways, they did the breeding event before they had the new SLP burn mechanisms. And because of that, I think Sky Mavis in their mind thought that we were at a good point where we don't even need to really burn. If they've increased SLP and then they did a, sorry, if they increased the SLP amount to breed an Axie and then they did a breeding event, I think 100% we would see a lot more SLP being burned. And I think they can do that in the future. They need a lot more. They should do at least six a year, one around every cool holiday. But let's see what they do, guys. Let me know what you think. But I think that's it for a video, right? We did enough. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me tell me if you think Axie's gonna die, and we'll see you next time, Flight Crew.